Hello fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do a French tack. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. Here we have a French tack and you usually find them at the hemlines of garments where we want to keep the lining, which is this one, and the fashion fabric kind of connected, linked. And you use a French tack in order to achieve that. So what you do, you take a little stitch there and you bring one here and create a loop and then you kind of do like a, a blanket stitch around the actual length of the thread. This can be around about 2.53 centimeters in width here and that's what it looks like. This is going to be the first stitch I'll take. Just take a little stitch on one side, say like this for example is a fashion fabric and then this side We'll take another little stitch and that will be the lining and then we're going to come back to the fashion fabric and get another little stitch and we're creating that kind of link let's call it and then the next step is then to create a loop you're going to bring your needle behind this and through the loop and pull through. So you've got one there. You're going to create a loop again. This is a loop here. Get the needle behind the linking thread here. Bring the needle through the loop and pull tightly. Now, if I just flip this over, I've done it a little bit further on, on this side here. So as you can see, hopefully, I've got my kind of like blanket stitches there along the actual link between the fashion fabric and your lining at the hemline. Let's try another one. I'll just do a couple more. So you've got a loop. You're going to bring your needle behind the linking thread through the loop and pull down. One more behind through the loop and kind of tangle there. What you could actually do to stop it from tangling is actually. Um, run your threads through beeswax and that can help with it from tangling now um like i said before it's about 2.53 centimeters that you probably need and it takes about between 10 to 12 stitches to go all the way from one point to the other and that is how you create a fringe tack well there we go I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments, do put them in the box below and I'll see you next time.